Okay, now we're going to look at our Nextcloud instance and how to install everything for Nextcloud. And we're going to use the basic email that we already have set up. We're going to log in here because this is important because we're going to use this. We're going to need to use, oh, not that one. You got to get the right one. Okay. All right. Everything's all set up right. Okay, now, remember, we're going to copy and paste. So, copy and paste, control C. All right. There we go. Copy and paste. All right. Now, from the email we had, we got this stuff here. We can create our username and everything. From the email that we had, we had a database user password. Now, you might be getting this information from your web host, database user. That's the one we're using. Maybe you have to go create it on your web host, you know, however it works. But you've got to know the database user, the database password. Here it is here. Okay, and we got to have the database name. Here's our database name. All right. Now, uh, host, local host, and don't make any other changes. All right, so that we're following our instructions here. And it says we're using that folder. That's whatever that is. Okay. We're going to make our, we're going to make uh, uh, NCSU, Nextcloud Super User, uh, password. Okay. So I've got a so so password, which isn't English, but you know, whatever. Okay, so I've got my stuff. I remember this. This is my admin account. I'm, just, I'm creating it here. And then it, don't mess with other stuff, but we've got that. Okay, and finish setup. Here it's going. It's, it's going to work. It's, it's working. This is normal. It's doing some work. It's working, working, working. It's normal. All right, it's taking a moment or two. Okay, there we are. And then here we are. Here's our welcome screen. I can click next and you're going to see the thing. And it's all open source. And then you can get it on desktop, Windows, OS 10, Linux, you know, everything. Google, it's got everything. WebDAV is an awesome thing. Contact, it's, it does all kinds of stuff. People like Nextcloud for all kinds of, hey, blah, blah, blah. Nextcloud is wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, so here are my files. Now, first thing we do in the admin account. Up here and go to settings. Okay, here we are. Full name. And I, I, I can change that, but it's not really important. But you know what? I need an email address. Admin needs an email address. Now, I can put anything I want here. Like, for example, I don't want to put my real email address here. So I'm just going to say that it's NC for Nextcloud. Okay, but I need to have an email. Oh, it wants my password. I'm changing stuff. Smart. Okay, there's my password. All right, so I've got that it's set. I don't have to save anything. That's how this rolls. Now I'm going to go to my overview here. And it's going to check some stuff here. Update channel. Oh, it's always got some sort of a little. Yeah, it wants you to update email settings, which we're going to look at. We're going to look at. This is actually this is down here. We got to set this up. And if one of the first things that we've got to do here, is we got to go here to our admin. Now, there it is. I'm just going to copy this link here. A stable is good. You know, stable is good. There's our admin. This is very important. Okay. we got to set up SMTP stuff here. Now, this is important. Oh, this has to be set to Chrome. That's important. See? Right here. Background jobs to Chrome. See? Right there. That. Set to Crone. Usually that's correct unless you've been told otherwise, but Crone is the best. Crone is the best way to do everything. All right, email sir. What's our the smtp.u.verb.ing port 25. Okay, is that right? SMT oh, okay. We gotta copy and paste this. We gotta we got our whatever our information is, this is the correct information. You got that, and then it's port 25. Got our email address is this. Oh, well, it, it's it's uh, it's that. That's our email address. See, it says use an email address you set up here, which is right here. There it is. 
and it's it's and it's got to be a real. This is for sending, so we got to have a legitimate email. It's got to not not a forward, a real one. All right, let's 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 uh, let's send a test mail. Sending. Okay, so it worked. It successfully sent it. There we are. All right, we're good. So that's all. Everything's set up how it's supposed to be here. First things to do to set up. Well, let's go back to our overview and let's see about. Is there a way to update anything? Oh, there's always some warnings here. Don't don't go super super worried about their warnings. They they have lots of warnings. Let's do um let's let, let, let's check for our betas. Let's just see if there's an update available. Ooh, there's an update available. Great. Let's let's do it. Uh, download? Oh no, we don't want to download. We're gonna run the updater. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna run the updater. Okay. And start our update. It's going. This is all normal. It's running an update. It's going. It's downloading it from Nextcloud.com or wherever the repository is. It's called a repository. If you didn't know, where, where you know, like like when you get apps in the you know, the Android App Store, or, you know, the Google Play Store or something. It's, it's, that's, that's called a repository where those files are kept. Okay, everything's great. Now, keep in maintenance mode. Now, I'm not doing command line. No. For the web-based updater, web-based, see this is web, we're doing web, so we're going to click this. No. Very important. You say yes, you're, you're done. you got to call your, your web geek like me. Okay, done. Okay, go back to next cloud. So, we're going to go back here. Here we are. Now we've got to do one other update. Think next cloud's a little bit finicky like this. It could be easier, but this is how it works. It's all right. This is all normal. Everything looks good. Updates are all working. Everything's updating. Good. Here we go. Redirecting. Everything's great. Everything's set. Everything's all set. 